Gamers, today we're back with another one, another FFA. It's been a little bit of a struggle to set these up because uh, for some reason we couldn't find the Diamond Gamers, but we managed to find eight of the finest, obviously, Diamond Gamers in the world. We got eight Diamonds, they're all random, and we got Rus Double Abbasid, HRE, Byzantine, Mongol, and Tumalian. The map is mega random nomad. Here we go. What do we get? Okay, a little Y. Little Y map. Oof. With a gold. Look at the beautiful gold. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of fish on the map. Oof. Mongol? Oh my god. Oh, wow. So we see Channel Orange here. Oh! He, ca he canceled. What did he okay. Dude, that's so lucky for him. There's no trees anywhere here. That's so lucky that he canceled. He's now rebuilding it on this side. Good for him. In the pink. In the blue, we got Giuliano, the Malian gamer. He's got a budget lake here. He's scouting a little bit. He's cooking. In the yellow, we got Boar right here. And we got GT Cowbell. And he cannot get the Boar. Kick W. It would be funny if someone pulled it, actually, and uh, that ruined his day. Right above him, we got Pac Monster, the orange Byzantine gamer. In the purple, we got Exploding Fun. In the red, we got Smoking Gun. Oh my god, that was loud. The Red Abbasid. Does he know about a what? Ah, okay, he, he, yeah, he knows. Wow, Abbasid's so broken. You can make a dog plus a fishing ship. That's wild. In the teal, we got Drunken Smuggler. The Teal Rus. And last but not least, we got the green HRE Kofa. Kofa? Over here, all alone. Needless to say, red and green, probably the best spawns right now. These two guys, I'm steering. Do they know about each other? Not yet. Oh, maybe they saw each other's villagers, actually. Yeah, they might have seen each other's villagers. And Orange has seen the water. Even though he hasn't really scouted it, he is like, yeah, there's water for sure. We'll see what happens. We got Uvu placed. No fishing ships from Channel Orange. He's just fishing with his hands. Okay. The Malian Gamer is trying to get wood. I'm assuming for the gold over here, but... He needs to get food first, or he's gonna not be able to produce uh, a much there. So there's gonna be a dock here. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. Okay, that was... That was interesting. A roost over here. Probably gonna go to three scouts. We got red here. He's fishing, he's cooking. We got green. On this side, looks like, yep, he's gonna go water too. I, I like green spot. He's got sick TC. Look at this. Gold and wood. He's got dock already. He's HRE. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven relics. Eight, nine. Very close to him. And there's nobody in his place. Stop it. That's gonna be a wild one. Malian over okay purple's got a ass spawn I gotta say exploding fun I don't know how much fun he's gonna be having no big wood I mean there's this wood line but it's not really close gold is far away as hell that's the only that's the these are the two only goals he has close by so pretty unfortunate now orange is gonna make a dock yep dock So they are going to be fishing together. Now, what you want to do as Orange, okay, what I would do if I was Orange. He makes fishing ships, he ages up, and then he just... Oh, oh, oh. 
shivs her out. Then he just upgrades arrow slits on this, and then yellow's just walled in here. But he's gonna pull the villagers. Is he gonna slap that? Jesus Christ. Dude, the Abbasid villagers. Wait, there was an Abbasid. There was Byzantine villager. What the fuck? Wait, was that... I had Byzantine players selected. Was that Byzantine villager? What the hell? What the... F that was a very long scream. I'm not sure I like that. Alright, Red's gonna be aging up. He's got some fishing going on. Now, this game, I did join almost immediately after they started. So, I'm kind of worried that it might be like a three-hour game and I can't speed it up. Because we have had a series of very long games recently. I'm not sure why. Maybe players are, like, trying really hard to win. Yellow is gonna go with a little dock... Or, sorry, dock into a uh, tower... To prevent orange from fishing, but he's not putting anything in the tower. Maybe a little scout. Okay. Okay, that's gonna take a while, but he's doing some poking. And he's gonna make a tower here, too. He's just making mass towers right now. Pink scouting. Everyone's scouting. Golden gate for Rus. Okay. Aegips are slowly coming up. Atri with a lot of fishing. Double dock. I like that. Just double dock. Fast castle. Yoink all the relics. No Aegip over here. Mongols going with deer stones. Mongol could trade to the middle, but that is... Wait, there's a trade post here too. But his spawn is kind of unfortunate because he's like in between two trades. Malian is chilling. He is looking to age up probably soon. No age up from orange and yellow. Manzikori coming up. Rus aged up fast, but obviously he has no fishing, right? He's gonna make a boat now, and he might be fighting red immediately. Chapelle. Oh my god, look at that. Dude, that's disgusting. Look at this. Look, are you watching? Gold, stone, gold, big gold, wood, and deer, and sheep. That is disgusting right there. Now that's a chapel right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's a 10 out of 10. That is a 10 out of 10. Channel Orange has just aged up with little deer stones over here. No fishing for him still. He is not fishing i repeat he is not fishing and he looks like he has six villagers on food and a lot on wood so this might be a 2 tc i'm not really sure because he's not making any production so i'm assuming this is oh never mind he's got 400 gold probably get something like that. By the way, the players agreed to play all random. I, I told them, you guys can pick the sieves if you'd like, but if you want to pick, let's make sure we're all different sieves at least. And uh, they all just went random. So I don't know how much random or how much they play for uh, you know all the sieves, but here we are. Yellow tower rushing orange. Orange canceling the landmark. Oh la 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 la, that is what... There's not enough space for a farm there. And Orange is in shambles right now. Khan dies, GG. Green with shit ton of villagers. Or fishing ships, sorry. And villagers. And Drunken Smuggler is aggressing on Smoking Gun. Now Smoking Gun is gonna go up with Eco Wing. He's getting stone over here. Drunken Smuggler, he's got... Is he aging up? What is he doing? No, he's gonna make um, uh, town centers. Where did he get stone? Am I blind? Oh, he, he... Oh, yeah, he bought stone. Okay, never mind. He bought stone. He's gonna uh, go a little second town center. There's a Malian cow boom coming in right here for purple. 
We got military wing. Molly over here with a little Menza quarry. He's gonna go cow boom too. And looks like pink is gonna attack blue. And I think green is just gonna Omega boom. Are these really diamond players? No, these are paid actors uh, that are actually never played the game before. And uh, I paid them uh, 5,000 dollars each to play here. And I say, yeah, these are diamonds, but they're not actually diamonds because I'm trying to, uh, um, you know, adjust uh, the game ranks and, and grow conspiracy in the game. Yeah, they're all paid actors. That's right. They've never they've never seen a mouse and keyboard actually. <clears throat> so anyway, back to the game. Uh, we do see Regnitz Cathedral. All for the content nowadays. It's I'm like I became like those fake prank channels. You know what I mean? Where everything's fake. Everything you see on my screen is fake. Oh my god! Yellow with the two farms. Why does he need farms? He's got fishing. I think Orange is in a lot of trouble, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the military wing is bullying him as well. And Pack Monster needs to pack it up and get away right now. Oh, this is not... This is not a good one. Mm -mm. Not at all. The relics are about to be vacuumed. The prelates on the way. Orange in a lot of trouble. It's funny because he could have kind of walled in yellow with the same thing, like make a tower and stuff. But yellow is the one that that kind of bullied him into uh, into leaving. Meanwhile, Kashiks are coming in. Hold up, hold the phone right there. Malian's getting bullied on the top side. Rus is taking control of the water against. Uh, a smoking gun, smoking gun with the double town center, and he might even go. Oh, he's gonna go for more than double. He's got enough stone for another. Un oh, there it is. Four town centers for red. Okay. Malian's getting bullied a little bit. He does have a tower. He's gonna be fine. Orange. I'm very worried for him. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where his villagers went. Maybe they just ran back. And yellow is making more units. Meanwhile, orange got this grand winery that, that is not grand winery at all. Oh, arrow slits. Okay, this is what I like. This is what I mentioned earlier. You should arrow slits, and then yellow is kind of doomed here. I like that. I like that. Mongol is going to be pushing in. HRE. Already on three relics. Oof. Guys, I'm gonna call it now. I think uh, HRE is gonna win. I think HRE. Hmm, who do you guys think is gonna win? You know, it's never an obvious answer. I feel like Abbasid five town centers. Like what? <laughs> We've seen this so many times where there's like one guy with like super advantageous position, but they never win. If Abbasid doesn't die to HRE, where, where are you going, Step Prelate? Oh my god, Swabia. Okay, HRE is gonna win. Atory's economy. Look, he's aging up and he's got these resources as well. That is uh That is a rough one. How many sacred sites is there? Wait, where's the third one? Oh it's here. Okay. He could go for sacred side win. Where are the crossings on this map? Let's see. There's a crossing here. Crossing here. Crossing here and crossing here. On this side there's two. Ramming is happening right now. Malian is cooking a little bit of everything right now. And all of this will be oh, will be going down. Channel or Chanel Orange. No pit. 
Maybe he forgot. Nice. Okay. Pretty, pretty cow boom right there. High trade house. That is a uh, hundred and forty-three gold trade house right there. And uh, blue is. <laughs> Blue is very much in the corner. If I'm pink, I'd probably put like a tower here, tower here, tower here, and just just make him like leave. Don't even attack him. Just be like, bro, come on. Tap out. You're done. Look at the opposite. Three, four, five town centers. Does he have a... Oh, he's going to age up soon. Almost. 34 on food. He actually needs more on gold. Yeah, he's putting now more on gold. Um... Rus is gonna go with men at arms, and I feel like these men at arms are probably well. Who is, who is he gonna attack? Okay, he has no rally points. He could be attacking red. He broke the wall, and red has no units right now. And he's obviously in feudal. On this side, we do see a little push happening. On the bottom, I forgot to check in a while. Red, orange is getting bullied, by the way, still. I mean, this is just, this is just destruction right now. On the top, blue is getting pushed in. Four fucking rams. Oh la la, he found his dog. He's like, is that, is that what you got, you little mother trucker? Oh my god, an orange. Look at pink. He's spreading his archers. The javelin throwers are trying to do something. A little target far coming in, but. Does he have enough to push in? I don't know. Orange workers are just running around. It is not looking good right now. Not looking good at all. Channel Orange, Kurultai Aja. Okay, and he's actually getting uh, wrecked here. Giuliano coming in hot. And he actually like just beat his ass completely. Oh, okay. That's not a wall, by the way. Just, just saying. I trade house. Fuck! I called 143. It's 149. All right. It is what it is. Where are the uh, men at arms? Okay, he's not sending them anywhere. They're just chilling. And uh, well, orange is. He is on fire right now. Four, 50 out of 40. He doesn't have much. Green's walling the, the passage so that no one can come with ships. How many relics is he on? Three? Four? Five. I thought it was going to be more. Okay, here's another one coming in. And Orange is going to tap out. Pack Monster. He tried his best. Oh my god, look at this. Dude, I'm, I'm calling it... Smoking gun is gonna win, all right? <clears throat> Boom, right there. Smoking gun is winning. There it is. <clears throat> I am calling it right now. Green is trading. This guy has like eight relics, soon to be. <clears throat> and he's trading. All right. Purple is... Is it not? Oh, he is H3. Oh, right. He, he aged up earlier. I forgot about that. I was like, why is he just making army? Why is he not aging up? He should make a, a pit mine here. Okay. Pink is trading for 15 gold. Green is trading. Blue is recovering. He might be aging up soon. The cow boom. I mean... He's got more houses than cows. You know, that's not a good look. When usually that happens, that ain't too good. I'm calling red winning, by the way. Red's gonna win. Unless he dies to green. If red doesn't die to green, red wins. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, 
Now green green is like chopping bajillion wood. Oh my god, red's attacking green, yo. This guy's wild, dude. Oh. Oh. Elite knights, okay. Okay. Yellow is yellow has a pretty good. I mean, okay, yellow doesn't have a good position because there's not a lot of resources on the bottom side, but he is all alone, forever alone. So that's nice for him. What is this? He walled off a bit too much. We do see some horse archers, some chatted arms, some mangonels coming. Looks like it's gonna be attacking purple. And, uh... Whoa, okay! Oh, green doesn't have a lot of trees, I just realized that. This whole side, he only has trees here, here, and here. So that's why he went all the way here for wood. I was like, why the fuck is he making, like, lumber camp all the way out here? Maybe he just wants to get that before red does? <clears throat> Who knows? Right on time, look at that. And... I think Drunken Smuggler is drunk, in fact, because... That was not a good in engagement. That was not a good fight, and he gets... Butcher. That was a that was a destruction. He had mango two mangoes. There's a third mango. He's making a keep. You know what this keep is? It's like oh fuck. That's an oh fuck keep. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna die keep. And if purple just pushes in, which he is, that keep ain't going up. Red stonewalling. And it's gonna be red against green, which right now are in the best position. It's nice that they're fighting. They're giving other players a chance. The, he runs in. The keep is trying to be built. Most fighting wars are coming in hot on those mangonels. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude, I feel like this is like... Attacking a nomad in AoE 4. I feel like it's like... Starting a fight IRL by sucker punching someone. And then the guy beats the shit out of you after. You know what I mean? It's like you had the advantage of the attack, of attacking, right? And then the guy turned around and beat your ass. And I feel like that's what's happening to Teal right now. <laughs> he attacked purple and purple's just like, all right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, watch this professional cast. Ooh. Oh. Now that's what I call a destruction. But does it matter? Exploding fun at 97 supply, drunken smuggler. Okay, drunken smuggler has more supply. Oh my god, he's just sucking on those mangano shots. But the units are just pouring in right now. On the top side, elite knights versus the Abachad. Smoking gun with 143 workers right now. Rams are being built on the bottom side. Whole Mongol army is fighting one ship. Okay. Blue. Step blue, what are you doing? We're gonna catch this live on camera. Live on camera, right here. Right here. Oh. Okay. You saw it. Atrid doesn't have anything, by the way. Like... Oh, okay. That, he has 182 workers. That's why he has nothing. I was like, is this his army? Like, it's four knights and, and two scouts and two rams. You know what I mean? He's got 182 workers. And red has 147. So these guys definitely giga boomed. I like that. Okay. Blue is gonna... He's decided, I'm gonna move out, but I'm gonna stonewall my little base first. There's not a lot of base, but it is his base. 
four mangonas here. Where's purple? Oh, purple's got sprinkles. So teal is attacking here, purple's attacking on the bottom. But sprinkles are there, but that's four mangonas. And now red with... Is this... Uh, does he have university? I have no fucking idea. But he does have 34 bonus health. From boot camp, I assume? Emergency repair is activated immediately. And that boiling oil is cooking right now. Oh god, he's taking so much damage. You gotta spread a little bit, brother. He needs to spread his units a little bit. Otherwise, he's just getting butchered. But I think this keep will go down. For sure. There's way too many units. On the bottom side, we see the two dents are fighting. And there's a two dent uh, here as well. And it seems like Teal <laughs> got butchered once again. But Malian, aka Ilalu, is attacking here. 24 Donzos. He's got one Musafati, but there's a lot of men at arms here. 15 men at arms. So I think Malian here, I don't think this is going to work out. The keep is going to go down. Malian cleans up the Ruse Gamer. And now Green is going to get pushed back. And he's gonna lose this production. Has he overboomed? Maybe. Pink's kind of struggling a little bit to like kill blue, I feel like. But he is trying. And uh, pink landmarks are gonna go down. Both of them soonish. Now there's Musafati warriors. And there's some javelin. There's a little bit of everything for blue. He doesn't have any resources left, so he needs to go upwards. Landmark goes down for pink. Pink is gonna get cleaned up here if Musafadis just keep coming out, so that's not an issue. On the other side. Now, Teal is making Springles, but like, Red doesn't care that he's making Springles, because Red doesn't have Mangonos anyway. Oh my god, he loses a Mangonos. Or sorry, not Mangonos, Springles. Oh la la. He trades two for one. And purple needs to like get in there and do some damage. Not just stay there. Like, cause he's kind of fighting under a keep, you know? Which is... Adventurous. Dude, I'm calling it Red wins this. Red wins. He's making more farms. Is this guy insane? Stop. Sofas are coming in. Yellow stonewalling his side of the map. He is just chilling. He's not trading. Oh, he killed the docks. I was gonna say he could trade with the docks, but he destroyed them, so. Not really. 40 gulams right now. Green, where's your army? Green, green, what is your problem? Green, what is your problem? No university upgrades for green and. Uh, He's got a lot of relics. I'm assuming he's got like 7-8 relics. But not a lot of units. 46 idol. Oh la 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 la. Uh oh, he's panicking. His palms are sweaty. He loves eating cooked spaghetti. He is falling apart a little bit. And the mass gulam. Okay, now they got university upgrades too. Yeah, these gulams are tanky as fuck. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Hold on, yellow! That sounded like hello, but yellow. Yellow! He is pushing in from the bottom into purple, and purple kind of looks like he's gonna kill Teal, but in the end, he might be, uh, might be dead actually. He might be dead. Yellow is coming in. Uh-oh. I'm worried that the replay is desynced. Because he's got 45 idols. You know what I mean? Let's see. Now oh, he's harassing. He's good. He's cooking over here. He's killing like villagers and he's losing everything. But he is trying his best and that's what matters. On the bottom side, yellow is like, yo, I got fucking, I got fucking units, dude. And then purple just wipes his ass. Beats his ass. I don't, I don't know why he would be wiping his ass. Beats his ass, that's what I was going with. 
And uh, he wipes his army. Yeah, he's got veteran archers. He actually has no imperial upgrades. His whole army is literally castle army. And, uh... Wait. Wait, red doesn't have lol. Red has uh, golden age one. It's sad. I was gonna say that's funny, but it's not funny. It's sad. Mongol with Kurultai versus blue. These guys are fighting over over this wood line right here. Blue is out of gold. He needs to go out there and get that gold. The elite camel riders are now coming out. The man at arms, the land shits are coming out. Kofi, I think he's finally making units. He's got. He's only got fishing boats! Wait, he's got no farms. He has definitely overcooked, and right now, the whole kitchen. Not the food. The food is not burning anymore. The whole kitchen's on fire. Mm -mm -mm. He's about to run out of food. He might set the whole building on fire, actually. The way he's cooking right now. 57 archers. And he purple is still age 3, by the way. Elite horsemen are coming in. Veteran archers, as you do. And, and gulams without elite upgrade. Can he hold? He's got to steer back and forth. He's fighting too dense at the same time. On the bottom. Hold up. Hold the phone. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And exploding fun. Yo, he look at his archers. He had 67 archers. And you bet your ass he's molding right now. Mm -mm. You know what he's saying? He's saying, I got fucking teamed from these two noobs. Yeah, he got tired of fighting too, true. Guys, he is not molding. We don't have confirmation that he is molding. That's just what I like to think. Okay, green is counter pushing. He's got elite land shits. But, let's remember. Okay, he's got some farms. There's deers, deer blocking the, uh, the chapel. He's gonna get cleaned up. And the thing is, look at Red's economy. 4,000 food per minute. This guy is holding down the, the make stuff button. And he's going for it. And I don't I don't know if green can hold. What is this? This is like a secret passage. Alright. Oh, no. Yellow is going to attack into teal. He's like, let me break that wall. This trade, 23 gold per trade. Not too hot. And is blue gonna push out? Is he finally gonna push out and defend himself? On the other side, yellow is going for it. High armor is being dropped out by yellow. He's right clicking. Oh, he's actually right clicking on the villager. Okay, I don't know about that, chief. And he still has veteran archers. He's got incendiary arrows, but the archers sure are veteran. The mangoes are going down. They're not target firing at all. He's trying to stop the age up. He's trying to stop this age up like it's a fucking keep. Even though it's high armory. And wow, yellow just mops him up. Just scoops him up right there. On the other side, these guys are fighting. On this side, these guys are fighting. And this, this is real FFA right here. You see that? Everyone's fighting whoever is close to them. That's what I love to see. Oh my god, he's trying to build and he keeps losing villagers. He will never get elite archers, by the way. Veteran for the rest of the game. No! He's getting elite archers now. Unlucky, brother. Unlucky. Mm hmm. He is uh, still 2-2-23, but Malian's pushing out, he's making a keep, Kurultai is getting wrecked, heal, 
he survives. He actually still has a lot of workers, so he's fine, I feel like. Feels fine. I mean, he's aged up, he's not aged up, but there is a big army coming across. But this keep is like farming so many units, it's kind of wild. How many units is killing? Mangonel versus Mangonel. On the top side, green, let's check his economy. Bro, just make mass siege at this point. Like, just make 50 mangoes. He's got no food. 69 idol. Nice. Wow, he's got idols everywhere. He's got idols for days. Trebuchets? The Mongol crap crapuchets? Are firing. Oh, he gets the mango. Not looking good for HRA. 135 supply with no food. And the idle count, it ain't going lower. I can tell you that. It is not going any lower. He is steering right now. Mongo? What's the supply? It looks like he's got 111. Okay, he's aging up. The white stupa is coming online, but is it too late? How is he gonna hold this, actually? I don't, I'm not really sure what the plan here is. Blue? Blue doesn't have the gold, but he has... I mean, there's gold right there, but he doesn't see it. Urutai. Oh, goes down. Yellow still going for teal. He ain't backing off. He ain't giving up. A red. 71 on food. And he's going for green. Green still not maxed out, by the way. He is struggling right now. But he does have better army. I mean, hand cannon ears plus man at arm is better than what Red has, right? But I don't know if he's gonna be able to uh, hold the sheer amount of units that are coming in. The trade's about to go down. Is Mongol aging or a level or upgrading leveling up? He's not aging upgrading anything, even though he just got to Imperial. On this side, yellow is cooking and drunken smuggler uh oh he might be the next one to tap out there's some horsey boys in the gold there's some rams being made at the front and this might be another tap out but green it's not looking good guys it is not not at all. Uh, Red just needs like two bombards and, and that's it. Just push through. He's making 27 men at arms. Did he buy food? How the fuck does he have 3k food all of a sudden? He had to have bought food, right? Oh my god! Yo, look how much- look how expensive the food is. He bought that shit. Guys, I know, I know people are balding in the chat like, He's got so many idle workers, why does he build farms? Bro, he's steering right now. Look at his map. He's fired up. He's getting attacked everywhere. He's probably like, oh fuck, uh, 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 uh. That's how he's playing. That's how you guys are playing. He never took these bears, that's so sad. He's struggling, he's trying. Over here, blue is pushing. Yellow is pushing in as well. And I think Atil is dead. Or she, yeah, he's dead. 68 workers, 15 army. I can't believe Yellow actually killed him, because he doesn't even have uh, reinforcement buildings close by. He just rallied across the map. Damn. 
these guys at the bottom are still. Dude, this, these guys have been fighting for 30 minutes straight and they haven't made any progress. They are still on the same screen. They haven't moved at all. Who's gonna tap out first? Teal or pink? I think it's gonna be Teal. So Teal is getting destroyed. Holy. He is getting butchered. That is a wall for sure. Is that a full wall? How mm. much? Sure. And pink, channel orange taps out. And after all of that, after all the struggles for blue, double monastery, no relics, check double it. After all the struggle for blue, he pushes through. Incredible work. He can actually trade here now too, which would be pretty good for him. And Teal taps off. And there, we had four and uh, let me remind you i called red winning although he is running out of gold well he still has gold there's a lot of gold in the middle but green has recovered he's bought a crap ton of food and now he's out of gold so now that's the problem they are fighting we got some mangoes hold up we got some we got some pasta right here from earlier Hmm. Oh no. No, don't do him like that. Don't. He was a well, I was gonna say he was about to win, but I don't think he's winning anymore. Ooh, so this is interesting now. Is blue gonna attack green? Blue is walling off. Is blue gonna attack green? Because if blue attacks green and yellow attacks red, then we got an interesting little thing happening there. I wish we could see kill count. I guarantee this keep has like 100 plus kills already. The keep is just farming KDA at this point. No elite army tactics. Port of the Huntress is coming. Does Blue even see anything on the map? I mean, he knows there's a neutral trade post there. I don't know if he's gonna decide to trade, but I feel like... He needs to get like some gold or something, because he's about to run out here, and there's no other gold on the map. Oh, yeah, there's gold here, but it's only 4k, right? And here we go. The denting off continues. These guys are stuck right now. And the only way for this to move forward is for one of them to get attacked. And it looks like... What if he gets eliminated? <laughs> Yellow has no idea. He hasn't scouted that part of the map at all. He knows that green is most likely here. He sees red. He's red. Yeah, red's going back. Okay, so red's gonna stop attacking green. Now, is green gonna push into red? That's the real question. The relics never got taken from here, by the way. Kind of sad. Smoking gun? Not a lot of... He's got way too many villagers and food. 
He needs more gold. He needs like 50 villagers in gold or something. Uh oh. So yellow is just chilling here. And red is kind of like running back and forth. What's happening here? Blue is just making units. He's just he's just building up a little bit, you know. That's a lot of siege. Three mangoes, four bombards, and yellow redirect. Oh no! Is yellow gonna go for green? He might. Green has higher score. Wait, yellow has the highest score. What the fuck? Yes. All right. Let's check their banks. Not a lot for blue. Green? Eh. Smoking gun? Eh. And then yellow? Okay. He's got 30,000 food. He's got no gold, which I don't really understand why. Because there's gold in the middle. And he can also trade, by the way. There must be a market or some shit. Oh, there's a trade here. You can trade. Oh, he, wait, is he trading? Oh, he is trading. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of gold. That's a long trade. That is a lot of trade. Green still got some idols, you know. It is what it is. This is a value camp. Look at that. It's not good here or here, but it, it is valuable. <clears throat> and now, I guess Red's like ran through and attack is attacking Green's base, and Green just ran through and is attacking Red's base. It's like a budget base race. It's like they're trading bases, but there's no way of either of them doing any significant damage, so they're just kind of there. This is a good FA, a lot of action actually. I gotta give props to these guys. Action non-stop. Love that. non-stop gaming all over the map I can imagine red or green are gonna have the most unit kills though because they've been uh, fighting for a while first part of it face beast his legs you're chill man what the fuck Sheesh. calm down in the chat oh I don't think he can build a uh... wait can he Oh, he can build a pit mine. Never mind. What is happening? He can't build it because of the villagers. Look, his units are trying to build and they're moving away because there's no space. But it's the neutral villagers that are blocking it. We'll check back in a little bit. Where's yellow? Yellow's now going back up. He's going down, then up, then down. Oh, okay. He, found, he fixed that. Good for him. Another keep with another relic inside. Look at him chopping, go chopping that gold. And, and yellow has decided, actually, I'm going to attack red. Oh, la, 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 la. And red, he ain't gonna be happy about that. It's not looking good for red. 153, no gold. And yellow is going for his booty. 134 gold trades as well coming in for yellow. Keep goes down. Blue is trading. A red's pulling back. Oh, 
Wait, what? Oh, he didn't click. Where? Where are they? You see that? They're like standing and then moving. Yellow's gonna get the relics that red never took. <coughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, now? Wait, maybe he just wanted the relic. Now he's gonna go for green. Yo, yellow is spicy, man. He's just gonna attack both of them. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, yo, I beat your ass, I'm gonna beat this guy's ass. But I don't think you're gonna beat this guy's ass. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's the move. I think he's He's got Spearman Ghulam Archer versus like Spearman Archer on here. The value camp is going strong. Blue? Yo, blue, what the oh? Bro, what the he's making nine siege workshops. Dude, he's about to start printing. He's got that one relic. Look at the resources, fuck you know. Who's gonna buy stone? No one is buying stone yet. Yet. He needs to put this on wood. So he gets wood as secondary resource. This is gonna get pushed in. And red, I'm not liking his position anymore, guys. The villagers are going down. Oh my god, the villager just goes down right there. Wow. Oh my god, and on this side. Oh no. What? Oh my god. Another one goes down. Wow. That's crazy. Right there. So many villagers going down. Blue is making a keep. He wants to secure a trade. Blue is like, I've been fighting for so long, I just want to trade. I don't want to do anything. Well, why are you killing his DC, man? What the hell? That's toxic, Blue. What the hell? He's dead. Yo, he's killing his farms and shit. For pastures. <laughs> okay, this is... This is some high-octane gaming right here. That's a wall right there, if I ever seen one. Okay, we got a little bit of a standstill. <coughs> Yellow's gonna go for a wonder, right? I feel like that's the angle he's going with. He never got picked up with preservation of knowledge. I feel like he's gonna go with He's got 72 army? Where the fuck is his army? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Oh shit, he's gonna die. Blue now. So yellow is just dipping his toes into everybody's base now. Attacks a little bit red, a little bit green, a little bit blue. And blue score did go up quite a bit. But blue has no gold. But again, like not many players in this lobby have gold. Green still has... If you look at the minimap, green still has so many golds on the map. Oh. W-O-W. Oh. Culverin's coming in. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh. oh my god, Red killed his... Red killed his villagers. Red has 40 villagers. And 160 army. He's got the culverins. That's a lot of army right there. Green? Oh. Seventeen 
Uh, Green has a lot of economy. Like, killing, like, he's gonna win the fight, but I'm not sure if he's gonna win the war necessarily. This keep's gonna go down, but there's a keep here, there's a keep here, and they both have relics inside. There's bombards. Okay, I mean, blue doesn't, or sorry, green doesn't have a lot of production, so maybe if he kills his production and then green can't remake or something? Maybe? And it looks like, how many, okay, how many bar 13 barracks, 6 archer ranges, and 8 stables. I mean, that's definitely not enough production. Definitely. So if red can, like, push in... Oh, he should have rallied forward, man. If he can push in and destroy production, maybe? It doesn't have greased up axles. Elite archers? Look at this guy flexing. But yeah, I don't. That was a massive push, and he just he just kind of lost that battle. And now Green's rematched. It ain't looking good for Red. I think Red might be the next one to tap out. And I was wrong about Red winning. He ain't winning this one. Not today. Yellows. Oh, Yellows making production here. I wants to push red, but I think red might like tap out of out of not mold, but out of like oh fuck I can come out. I called it. Called it. And green takes that one and now with that in mind green has green can go for a sacred side w he, there's like three passages he needs to protect four actually but whatever and where does green go next that's what i want to know where does he go next is he gonna hold the sacred sites is he gonna make a wonder is he gonna push into blue? Does he even know where they are? Uh, I mean, he knows blue is here, and he probably knows yellow's there, because he kind of has that map side revealed. And uh, he is mining stone, which leads me to believe he oh he's stonewalling here. Kind of looks like maybe he wants to uh, snack on a wonder kind of style. These guys are just A-moving into one another. Yellow, I don't know if you want to go into this battle. Blue's done this before. Oh! As I say that. Blue is a little, uh, little bit struggling for resources. Just a little bit. He, he walled in, but it's not even a full wall. He could have just walled like this. That's funny. Oh, he is going for Sacred Side. Okay, so Green is gonna go for Sacred Side W. Making a keep. Keep right here. Keep right here. And then keep right here as well. This stone wall. I don't know. Okay, alright. So there's a passing here, there's a passage here, and then on the left side there's one, and there's one right here. Are blue and yellow gonna stop fighting? They look like they have stopped fighting, but this is the problem. Blue... Yeah, they're both trying to pass through the same spot, which is a problem. Because uh, blue needs to go from the other side, and yellow needs to go like... Yellow needs to go for like this sacred site over here. Or at least this one. So that they don't interact with each other. Oh yeah, he, he right clicked uh, inside, but that ain't happening. Sacred site victory. Let me check the timer for you guys. 
Three out of three sacred sites confirmed. But basically, what's the time? Who knows? You know what I mean? That's the beauty of sacred sites. We we don't know. It might be five minutes. It might be eight minutes. It might be three minutes. Nobody knows. One and a half thousand gold per minute with one worker. Oh, but he is trading. Okay, he's trading with four. So he's got like one three. He's got like 1.2k gold per minute probably with relics and sacred sites. Here we go. Here we go, brothers. Okay, he they're doing the right thing, by the way. And you guys were molding earlier. Not you guys, but some people were molding that these are not diamonds. That's just, this is good attacking. See, one guy went the furthest. These guys either know how to play FFA or they watch FFAs when I mold about people not knowing how to break sacred sides or wonders. You need to attack at different sides. And this Karak is going to do so much damage to these units. Okay, here we go. Does he have a single Musafati there? Uh, nope, not a single one. Wait, where's he going? He is breaking through. Five bombards are coming in hot. That's, uh... That's just Hankin Amir and Mangonel army. That's... That's not a very strong army on its own. If Bomber just target fired at Mangonos, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. I feel like... Is Green ready to defend this? It doesn't look like he is. This looks like a... Potentially very easy cleanup. Now, the Malian army ain't very strong, let's be honest. He needs to build uh, Musafati Warriors, which he is not building right now. He's building Donzos. But these men at arms are tanking like like crap load. How many units does this yellow have? 84. I mean that's a good amount. He's attacking the keep. Emergency repair on this one, so that means that this side is gonna be uh, free to potentially take down. But blue's got no musafatis. Bro, you gotta make musafatis. Stop Donzos! Stop! Get some help! Knights are coming in. The villagers are coming out. Keep goes down. That's two keeps down in the first attack. Which means if yellow just regroups and goes again, that's gonna be a very rough hold. And here we go. He's got no army on this side now. He's redirected everything at the top. Everything. No emergency repair. There's no relics in these keeps either. So... Oh. Look at these archers. KW doing minus damage. That keep definitely gonna go down. I don't know if the second one's gonna go down, but it's not looking good. Yellows? Oh, that's uh. I don't think he's holding. 55 workers right there. This map did not have a lot of wood. Okay, there was a lot of wood on the bottom side of the map, I feel like, but not a lot of wood. Right? Very. Very minimal. One keep goes down. What does green have? He's got a lot of resources, but no stone. So he's probably out of... Uh... There's a blue mining camp right there. He is out of uh, stone, but he does have a lot of resources. He could potentially buy stone. Oh, he's making a keep here with one worker. Uh, as you do. And I'm sure that's going to be done this year. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's your army? Where the fuck is his army? Huh? Uh, no. Oh, 
My favorite part of that is the hand cannoneers ran in and also died. That's my favorite part. <laughs> they were trying to shoot it and they got fucking. Boom. The distraction is happening, and I think, considering he just lost 20 plus units to Wall of Law, I think he's not holding. But he keeps pulling his whole army left and right, and blue is coming in hot right now. Wall of Law kills units now. Wall of Law always kills units when you're maximum supply. Mm -hmm. And he has made Musafari warriors, finally. 47 Musafari warriors. Look at the men at arms now. Look at the men at arms melting. Woo. He's busting his ass right now. Sacred Side Tracker, 3 out of 3. Oh. You definitely want to stand on it though. Yellow is just sending in units. You die one by one as you do. Hey, 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 hey. Uh oh, land shits are coming now. Wait a minute. Once land shits are in, they should be able to clean up the safaris. Oof, look at that damage now. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. That's what happens when you right click. Now the buildings are going down, and now, once again, on the top side, yellow is going for it. The keep, there's nothing against it. So it's probably gonna stay up. Now there's archers coming. I like that. Musafari's plus archers. Check the resources. So, blue. Okay, blue has enough resources. It might like look like he doesn't, but he is constantly producing, so he's he's fine, so to say. Yellow is definitely gonna wander the moment this is over, hundred percent. If it's over, well, if the game is ends, then you know. But green. Two minutes until Sacred Sun victory! Uh oh! 114 army. He is producing, but how many man, how many barriers does he have? He has zero villagers. Okay, he has like four villagers somewhere. He's got fishing boats and four villagers somewhere. He has all in. Wow. We don't hear the bells yet. We don't hear the dun, dun, dun. because the sacred site is being stepped on by some units. He's trying to hold that, but he needs he needs Musafaris. Where's your Musafaris? Or not Musafaris, sorry, Lenchits. There's two coming, four coming. Oh la 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 la, the, everything's getting melted. He's right clicking on the sacred side. He's moving on this side, but yellow is about to push it. Okay, yellow is not gonna decap this. This is not happening. He just needs to hold this. Uh oh. Three out of three sacred side. It was probably like about a minute and 10, minute and 15 seconds left. But in the end, that looks like a decap. One minute until Sacred Side victory, but not today, brother. Not today.
L right there. And I think uh, after that, I mean, he's got no food. He's got no villagers. He's going to be tapping out in five, four, three, two, one. That's going to be a perma surgery. I almost called it. And last two players. We got Cowbell who's selling food right now. He's going to wonder right here. 8,000 gold, where are you placing that bitch, huh? Where are you placing it? Can't place it there. Or maybe you can place it here. Probably not. He's got enough for wonder. What are you waiting for? Blue is capturing the sacred set. Brother, you gotta go. You gotta go, dude. Uh-oh, there it is. He's gonna put it right here. Prayer Hall of Fukba is coming online. On the line. But... Wait, did Blue... Oh, he was taking the relics. Blue needs to capture sacred sites immediately. If you guys didn't know, killing a wonder in FFA in a one-on-one -on -one situation is borderline impossible. Unless, like, one player is an extreme advantage. And right now, it is not looking too good. It is not looking too good. Giuliano, he is making Donzo Musafari Warriors Musafari Gunners. His trade might get stopped. And Yellow might just straight up kill him even. The Wonder is online. The traders are AFK. Thirty-seven idol. Okay, he's got a lot of uh, villagers. Okay, there we are. He fixes it. He fixes it. What a gamer. He knows what's up. Did Malin get all his upgrades? That's why his archers don't do any damage. He's missing three damage on the archers. Oh, no, no. Wow. Wow. Yellow's gonna go back. Blue is not capturing sacred sites. Oh, he does have two dudes. He might try. He's got two. I don't see a third one though. Okay, he's capturing that one. But I don't think he's going for it. I think he's just like trying to capture it for the sake of capturing it, you know? Yeah, I don't think he's going for it. There's still so much gold left by the way on the map. It's kind of crazy. What the fuck? There's Malian stables that are being built or attempted. Maybe from earlier. And yellow spawning next to orange is gonna end up potentially getting the W. Because right now, there's demo ships. Okay. He's cooking. But I don't. made demo ships all the way from there damn two well not even 200 supply actually juliana also struggling a little bit because he's got no wood and he's running back and let me tell you when you're pushing wonder 
You don't want to be running back. You want to kind of move forward. Wonder. 12 minutes to go. And, uh, yeah. I mean, the amount of stuff he needs to go through, by the way, is, is like... He needs to go through all the production and keep in order to get his base. And I just, I just don't see it happening. He doesn't have siege. He's got no massive gold unit count, right? He doesn't have like sofa musafati gunners. He can't even break the wall. Because this is just this wood, just wood chop, and he's trading here still. I don't think it's happening. Just making some stables here. Meanwhile, cowbell. Now he does not have wood. What is he trading? Is he trading? Oh, he's still trading food. That's a mistake. He should be trading wood. Because you don't need uh, food at this point. Because you got 48 on food anyway. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to be just looking at a slow death right now for blue. Yeah, I mean... I was going to say potentially he could snipe landmarks. With like a transport ship, like imagine transport ship and then like 10 bombards or something and just boom boom and he's dead. But... That's gonna be a tough one. He's making a lot of stables here. I'm not sure why. But it ain't working. It ain't working. Got a little bit of a pause champs right now. They're both like, yo, let's take a break. Yellow's like, yo, can we chill a bit? Oh, Blue's like, yeah, sure. Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. He cannot break this. Yeah, it's too late for that, brother. He's getting the sacred sites now. It's a little bit too late. Yeah. He has no siege to uh, go in. He has no bombard, no ram. Honestly? Just fucking go like full Musafati or something, or ram or bombard and try to snipe the landmark. I think that's the best thing you can do. But I think, like, if you look at his wood, he doesn't even have enough wood for that. He's got a lot of shit in production, but, uh... It's kind of funny, because he can't... He can't get in. <laughs> It's been a long day today. Not off stream necessarily, but just a long day, you know? One of those. Snipe the thing with the Lala Scouts. The thing is, he, he has a fort to the Huntress, so he doesn't have the increased damage, uh, siege damage or torch damage for his units. So, he's making a war canoe. I'm, I'm confused, what? Huh? He's making culverins and mangonels. 
But you gotta get in. Is it possible that he doesn't see the fucking... Wonder? I think... He just killed some of his units. He's cancelling stuff. There we go. He's cancelling. Okay. He's like, where do I have villagers to delete? Hold up. Hold up. Okay, what else can I delete? Um, oh! Oh! There's three knights right there, by the way. The yellow knights. <laughs> Some the fucking uh, imams just run away. Yeah, he should throw a towel at him. He shouldn't throw in the towel. He should just throw the towel over the wall and try to hit the wonder. Yeah, I don't think he saw the wonder because right now, the way he's like deleting shit and building siege and stuff makes me think that he didn't see the wonder. Maps perspective? I mean, he knows there's a wonder. He doesn't even see anything else. That's gonna be a rough one. You know what's funny? I don't think he has enough units now to defend the siege, so his siege is just gonna get mowed down now. Oh la la. Oh la 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 la. Wonder. Three minutes. Juliana, you tried, brother. Maybe you didn't see the timer or the wonder. This might be. Yeah. Yellow's counter pushing wonder. Two minutes in 45 seconds. And that's going to be GG Reno. GT Cowbell is gonna be your winner for today. He has rinsed a couple of people in a row, got the sacred sites back, and won with the wonder in the end. Congrats, well played, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, not much else to say. The next one we're gonna be doing is going to be Conquer FFA on Mega Random Nomad, and then after that we're gonna start over with Gold on a different map. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There it is, brothers. GG's.
And well played. Economy. Yellow's got the most food, the most gold too. I guess the trade. And the most stone. Green did not make it in the end, no red. The most skills, green at almost 2,000. I mean, it makes sense. He did fight literally the whole game. But yellow has 1.8k, which is actually a lot higher than I thought. Red only 683? Okay, his KDA is bad. Damn. That is a bad, bad KDA. But, good fight, everyone. Good fight. Rough one for orange, I gotta say. Once again, I want to thank all the players for playing. Congrats to our ass in the chat for winning. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, the next one is going to be Conquer. Check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. Twitch gamers, let's keep going.